And hi everybody out there again, Mark Mannering here from Class Training with another three tips in three minutes, more or less. And uh, focusing on Excel this time, uh, some of you would have seen this in some of our courses, but uh, this great feature they brought in the 2013 version of Excel uh, looks at how to massage or manipulate your text information properly. For example, with those names in the column B, they're in the wrong format. We want them all in capital letters and round the other way. So for example, we want uh, for Alex Hodge, we want Hodge in capital letters, comma, with a space, A, full stop, and so on. So we want to convert all the others into that same sort of format. So all I've done here, first of all, is just to put in a couple of blank columns just to give me some working area. And all we do to manipulate or change the text into what we want is to type in the very first one, Hodge, all capital letters, comma, A, full stop, press enter. Then I start typing the next one and just watch what happens. R, A, Y, and so on, and it comes up and Excel has predicted what I want or what it thinks I want. All I do now is press enter, done. So that was the first tip, just how to drastically change the formatting of some text. The second tip using that feature is even if I want to do something even simpler by, for example, uh, splitting up these names. I've got Alex Hodge and so on in the first column or in the one column, and a lot of you would know about text to columns and so on, but that loses the original information. I want to keep Alex Hodge there, for example, and have his first name and last name in the separate columns. Now, again, all we do is type in the first one. There's Alex, press enter. I type or start typing the next bit, Alice, and it comes up with the prediction. I press enter. I go across here. I need Hodge by itself, press enter. I start typing the last one again, and Excel has picked up the pattern, press enter to uh, confirm. And the third tip is to use that feature to combine text into what you want to produce a consolidated uh, result. Uh, some of you would know about concatenate to combine things together, but we're going to use that same feature to create what we want. So for example, I want a classification code created based on their department and their division. And we're going to combine, say, the first three letters from each of the department and division with a hyphen in between, all in capital letters. So again, I just type in the first one, A D M dash C-O-P, press enter. I start typing the next one, and again, Excel has picked up the pattern. I press enter to confirm. All done, and that's it for this uh, particular three tips in three minutes. That's using Excel's data fill or flash fill feature. And we cover a lot more on this in our uh, Excel courses, so have a look on the website. For those coming up, Mark Mannering signing off, and see you again next time. Thanks a lot, bye.